Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the characteristics that we had ended with last week. So remember, these are the things that make an arthropod an arthropod. And then we'll finish with talking about um, a few arachnid characteristics as well. So if you remember from last time, we had talked about the things that make an arthropod classify as an arthropod. So one of the things that you guys mentioned, which we hadn't really talked about, is the fact that they have an open circulatory system. Remember, what it means to have an open circulatory system is that you still have a heart. However, you have spaces that are open in the body that the blood is pumped into. Um, and that's different from a closed circulatory system because a closed one does not have those open sinuses or spaces. Another trait that we'll find in our arthropods is that they are separate sexes um, and we, they do sexually reproduce. Uh, and the asexual reproduction in hermaphrodites, we've kind of left those behind. So we're really not going to see that much for the rest of the year. We're really just going to see separate sexes instead of hermaphrodites and sexual reproduction rather than asexual. Of course, they have bilateral symmetry. This is one that you guys brought up when we talked about last week, but I thought it would be a good one to just make sure we had written down in our notebooks. So again, radial symmetry is a trait that we are leaving behind, and bilateral symmetry is what we'll see for our animals for the rest of the year. Remember, that means you can cut your animal and have one, well, one plane with two equal halves. There's one line of symmetry. And then our final arthropod characteristic is the fact that they have a ventral nerve cord. Um, remember that means it runs along their belly. Uh, and again, that's more of an invertebrate trait than a vertebrate trait. And the sensory organs they have are well developed. We will see um, some complex behavior in our arthropods. Although you know, something you just want to keep in mind is that behavior is instinctual rather than learned. But again, Having a ventral nerve cord is an arthropod trait. You should be able to see on the slide that they have these things called ganglia, which are clusters of nerve cells. Um, and then their sensory organs like sight, sense, etc. is pretty well developed. So on this next page, this would work a little better if I were here, but we would talk about which one of these organisms we thought were arthropods. So if you look at number one, um, I'd ask you guys whether you thought it was an arthropod or not, and then I'd have you tell me. But this one is, uh, the reason it's tricky is because it's mimicking a hummingbird. Um, but it definitely is an arthropod. One way you can tell is if you look closely at the abdomen, you can see it's segmented. You also should notice that it has antenna, um, which we would never actually see in a hummingbird. Okay, number two. That one should probably clearly be an arthropod. You can see the body is segmented. If you look closely, you can see the uh, compound eyes. Then you can even see that the little antennae in front are segmented or jointed. Number three is not an arthropod. Now, I picked one that was tricky on purpose, uh, but if you compare three to two, there are some things you should notice that kind of look the same, like segmentation. What's different is number three does not have appendages off the body in any way. Also, it is um, surrounded by a foot, so it's a soft foot underneath. So number three is actually a mollusk and not an arthropod. And then number four is definitely an arthropod. Again, you should see um, that those appendages are jointed. Um, it's kind of hard to tell if the body is segmented or not, but we can definitely see jointed appendages in general, which is a arthropod characteristic.